all have a few party tricks up our sleeves that we can whip out on occasion, like the odd card trick or juggling a few pieces of fruit. But today's humans are taking these tricks to the next level. I'm talking front flipping between buildings, fisticuffs with a kangaroo, booties who turn grapes into pieces of art, and don't even get me started on the guy who rode around London on his sofa. Yep, I've seen it all now. Are you ready for 15 unbelievable things that humans manage to do? Sit tight, fasten your seatbelt, because you're in for a roller coaster ride today, folks. Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have bad luck for the next week. Don't risk it, let's start. Man who boxed with a kangaroo. What was supposed to be a happy hunting trip for a group of friends turned into a total disaster when one man, Greg Tonkins, came face to face with a kangaroo and had a little fisticuff. Go, go, go. Why on earth would a human fight a kangaroo? Well, of course, they'd all brought dogs on their trip, and unfortunately, one of the dogs got a little too close to the tall buck kangaroo. Lucky for the pup, he was wearing protective gear to protect him from wild boar, so he was okay. But Greg still jumped in, and with one swift punch, he sent the kangaroo jumping off towards the horizon. I've never seen anything like it. Rumor has it, Greg is a professional zookeeper. Let's hope no more kangaroos mess with him then. Farthest throw from giant tower. Who else played that game as a kid where you threw paper airplanes out the window and waited to see whose would fly the furthest? Silly guys. I feel bad for those guys. Yeah, I do too. That must have been a huge waste of time and effort. Well, that's exactly what this group of gents were up to, except from a super high giant tower. Giant glider battle is what they call it, and you'll not believe how far this one guy's plane goes. It's like it's never going to end. It just goes on and on and gets further and further away. I don't know about you, but I get the heebie-jeebies just watching how high up they're all standing. Well, that's definitely one for the books. That plane really soared. Flip from roof to roof. Alexander Rusinov might just be a parkour legend. Look at him go. So he's on one roof and he wants to get to the next one. That distance isn't gonna stop him. He'll just jump and jump he does. He runs and jumps and does a front flip. And as he lands on the other roof, he does another flip. I mean, wow, I'm speechless over here. Okay, but then has to get back, right? Yep, that's right. He did another jump and flip back to the original roof. The adrenaline coursing through him must have been next level. Alexander is one brave guy. Rather you than me, buddy, bravo. Walking on rope from highest mountains. Nick Walenda has got to be the biggest daredevil out there. He's the first man to ever cross the Grand Canyon area gorge on a tightrope, completing the walk in less than 23 minutes. So I'd try to react, and when I reacted, I'd kick that rhythm into the cable. And... Now that is record breaking, and it's no small feat. The tightrope was 457 meters above Little Colorado River. I truly have never seen anything this insane in my life. What kind of guts does this man have to have to be able to achieve something like that? And in record breaking time, and you won't believe what he said when he was finished, that his next dream is to walk between two skyscrapers in New York City with all his fans cheering him on below. Wow, Nick, you're a real daredevil. We'll be cheering you on, that's for sure. Throw and catch 150 yards. It's pretty incredible to be able to throw a frisbee and watch it fly 150 yards, but imagine being able to catch it too. Now that takes some skill, and that's exactly what these two guys have. I'm mind blown at how far Brian managed to throw it, and Sam was just quick enough to catch it, like a little ninja. Incredible. I know. That's even further than pros can throw it. Pretty unbelievable. Carving Aura in Carrera Marble. Joey Marcella took a 1200 block of Carrera marble and carved it down to an 80 pound sculpture. Pretty spectacular, eh? Definitely a labor of love. The precision and skill he must have to be able to pull off something like this is unreal. He's a real artist, and this sculpture shows off his talent on a whole other level. We can't wait to see what you sculpt next, Joey. Unbelievable workouts. I mean, there's workouts, and then there's these workouts. Don't try these at home, kids. Wow, this guy has superhuman strength, it seems. Look at the way he punches those bricks in half. My fist is aching just watching, never mind actually attempting it. From one-arm push-ups to slicing rocks in half, what can this guy not do? I think I'll stick to my morning jogs for now, thank you very much, but kudos to this guy for blowing all of our minds. Unbelievable food artist. 
This food artist is taking food art to the next level. I mean, who can turn a lychee into a rose? This food artist can, and turning a grape into a lantern? Wowee. This is some serious next level food art. He handles a knife better than anyone I've ever seen. I'll never be able to look at fruit and vegetables in the same way again. My apple just looks so boring compared to this masterpiece. I used to think I was pretty good at carving my jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween, but this food artist would seriously kick my ass. Incredible work. Lift jumping. Proceed with caution, because this one is going to raise the hair on the back of your neck like nothing else. This all-star cliff jumping crew are hands down the bravest bunch on the block. Um, what do you think? Double it or triple it? From triple front flips, double corks, and back flips, this crew ain't afraid of anything. In this clip, they're cliff jumping in Vermont, and the heights they're jumping from are just insanely crazy. It's gotta take more than courage to handle a jump like that. Wow, I can barely handle the diving board at my local swimming pool. And these guys made it look so effortless. That's true talent, that is. Unbelievably talented man. Okay, once you watch this guy in action, you'll wonder what he can't do. I've really seen it all now, from parkour flips over cars, to running up walls, to juggling while doing parkour. Yup, he's next level. Ever tried somersaulting on a treadmill? This guy has, and he smashed it. He can even do flips up a wall while sitting in a chair. Wow, my head is spinning from all of his talents. And of course, he'd happily do all these crazy stunts, but when it came to skateboarding, something a lot of people can do, that's when he chooses to put on a safety helmet. I'm baffled, but also mind blown. What a talented guy. Street magic. Cyril Takayama is an American magician of French, Moroccan, and Japanese descent, and he's famous in Japan for his street magic. I mean, just look at his magic antics on the subway in Japan. He's beyond brilliant. Now that's the best kind of subway trip, when an unexpected magician gets on board and makes your commute to work something else entirely. The fact that he pulls off being an old man so easily, that's some real skill he's got. <laughs> and a dose of magic, of course. He's pretty well known in the world of magic these days and has even won a few awards, such as first place in the best magician category at the Magic Wood Awards. Go Cyril, you are so awesome. Cake decoration. Okay, wow, I thought I'd seen it all, but would you look at this? These cakes are like nothing I could have imagined in my wildest dreams. You think you're looking at an apple, but it's a cake. I thought I'd need to get my eyes checked watching this. Okay, and the arm cake? I can't deal! Would you like a bowl of spaghetti? Oh sorry, it's actually a cake. What? This is too crazy. And the Rubik's Cube? Wow. On my next birthday, I definitely want one of these cakes. And is it just me, or is it super satisfying watching them slice through these real life looking pieces of food that are actually cakes in disguise? Spin Top Snipers. Where do these people find their talents? Do they just wake up one day and decide they're going to master the spin top? This group of men based in Taiwan are incredible. There's something so exciting about watching the spinning top flying through the air and landing smack bang on target. That takes more than skill. Those men must have patience aplenty to master the art of the spin top. They should turn this into an Olympic sport. These guys would definitely take home the gold. Man riding sofa car in streets. Okay, hats off to this guy for having the sense of humor and courage to convert an old mini into a sofa on wheels. Look at him just scooting through the streets of London, riding alongside the famous red buses. He hasn't got a care in the world, and who can blame him? He's gotta be the coolest guy in all of London. I love that he put safety first and still added a seatbelt, but look at all the onlookers. People have never seen anything like it. Another front subframe from a mini in the front of a vehicle right underneath me. If I saw him in real life, I'd have to do a double take. It's not every day you see a sofa on wheels parading the streets, is it now? That guy is seriously a creative, inventive genius. Incredible bottle balancing skills. And now for number one. Wang Yukin, a talented man from Eastern China, has probably got the most incredible bottle balancing skills I've ever seen in my life. He can be seen balancing four empty glass bottles on top of each other. And then, as if it wasn't already impressive enough, he then goes on to balance a teapot on top of a hammer, on top of two glass bottles, while another person steps in and pours water into the teapot, all while it remains balanced. Wang says he learned these balancing skills by himself. Wow, a self-taught bottle balancing master. And so far, he has created more than 600 different balancing combinations. I want to see more, Wang! Well, 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 I am utterly blown away by today's top talent. Talk about unbelievable. There are people out there with no fear, and they'll stop at nothing to share it with the world. I have to say, they're all equally unbelievable in my eyes. What about you guys? Which of today's crazily talented people is your favorite? Share it with us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.